Cancer is a disease affecting many individuals worldwide, and treatments cause many side effects. Next to commonly known side effects such as pain, weakness, fatigue, lymphedema and reduced quality of life, cancer treatments are also associated with accelerated bone loss, increased fracture risk and an increased risk of osteoporosis. In this video, we are going to discuss the effects of exercise for improving bone health in cancer survivors. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. Many side effects can be targeted through exercise, as it was shown to improve fatigue, pain, muscle strength, aerobic fitness, sexual function, body composition, anxiety, depression and quality of life during and following cancer treatment. Yet, not much is known about the effects of exercise on the prevention of bone loss in cancer survivors. Some previous systematic reviews show that exercise alone may not be sufficient to prevent bone loss, but these studies did not perform meta-analysis. Since there has been an exponential increase in published research on exercise in cancer population, this systematic review and meta-analysis aim to investigate its effects on bone health outcomes. Meta-analysis, including subgroup analysis, were undertaken on bone-related outcomes that were assessed and reported in at least two studies. These were whole body bone mineral content and whole body hip, lumbar spine, greater trochanter and femoral neck bone mineral density. Subgroups were based, based on cancer and intervention related factors previously identified as having effects on exercise and included cancer type, exercise mode, intervention supervision, intervention length and risk of bias. Supervised interventions were considered as interventions where at least half of the prescribed exercise sessions involved in-person supervision. 26 RCTs were included, of which 21 reported adherence, ranging from 57 to 100%. Small to moderate effects favoring exercise for whole body bone mineral density and hip, trochanter and femoral neck bone mineral density were found. No overall effects were observed for whole body bone mineral density and lumbar spine bone mineral density. The subgroup analysis revealed no effects of cancer type, exercise mode, supervision, duration of the intervention and treatment status, except for treatment status for hip bone mineral density. Exercise interventions that were post-treatment had greater effects on hip bone mineral density than intervention during cancer treatment. Findings from this systematic review and meta-analysis demonstrate that exercise prescribed in accordance with current recommendations for cancer survivors is effective for improving whole body, hip, trochanter and femoral neck bone mineral density among cancer survivors. Importantly, six trials included examined an impact-based exercise training consisting of skipping, drop jumps, squat jumps, burpees, mountain climbers and various other hopping movements. So you can progress the interventions beyond the typical 3 times 10 reps of specific muscle movements. Alright, thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in reading more research reviews, we post one every Monday on physiotutors.com. On our website you can find a ton of relevant physiotherapy content. Check it out at the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This was Ellen for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.